Hello, friends. Uh, as a lot of you know, 2021 was not a particularly good year for me. Um, and I think a lot of people feel the same way about that. But my goal basically for 2022 is to just kind of get my shit together, get my life together and make some changes. So I've made a few goals for things for me to make adjustments to the way I'm living my life and get my life together for the year. It's February, so the year's already started, but here are the things that I am working on to just improve myself. One of the really important things that I'm trying to change this year is making habits and actually sticking to them. It's something I've been really bad at recently and it used to be a really big part of my life. And so I'm kind of trying to bring that back so I can get my shit together. Uh, one of the big ones is making my bed every day. Something about making my bed and working and coming back home to this beautiful plush made bed just makes me feel like a really accomplished. And also part of it just helps me really unwind at the end of the day. Like when I get to pull back the covers and just actually slide into bed, instead of coming back to that messy bed, it just feels good and kind of helps me relax for the evening. So that's something that I've been working on and want to get better at in 2022. Another thing I really want to work on is basically getting moving more often. I've never been like a big exercise person. I can't really find exercises that work for me, but I do just want to move more and get out there and kind of do stuff. I've been playing my ring fit adventure a little bit more. I've been trying to take Rory on longer walks, stuff like that. I just want to implement that more regularly. So I'm not just sitting at my desk all day, especially now that I work from home, it's become a little bit more of a problem. I also really want to get better about calling my loved ones. I live uh, not too far away from my family, but it's about an hour and a half from most of them. And so I've been making an effort um, every couple of weeks to call like my grandmother or my aunt um, or my cousin and actually just have like a video conversation. So A, we can see each other, but then also just talking about our lives. Um, I try to call my parents at least once a week. And it's just something kind of to remind me that even though I'm not near them, I do still have these relationships and these people that love me. And that's been helping me A, just stay in touch with my family, which is always good. And B, it's also been really good at um, helping my mental health and like knowing that I have a support system there. Uh, another big one that some of you may know that's really important to me is planning. Planning is a really big part of my life, but sometimes I'm too tired or too upset to actually do it. And so I'm trying to make it into more of a habit instead of a task. So I just sit down and I plan. I really like to have my days planned ahead of time. So basically like the night before or the day before. So I kind of know what I'm getting into and life is weird and we never know if things are going to go according to plan. And so I always try to look at these plans as more guidelines than actual, like you have to get this done at this exact time. Uh, but just having that framework really helps me know how my day is going to go. and makes me feel better about the work that I'm doing. The final habit that I'm really working on implementing is relaxing. And I know that might sound like a weird habit to some people, but I am I am either zero or 100. And honestly, most of the time it is 100. I have a lot of energy and I do a lot of different things. And sometimes I forget to unwind and I preach a lot about self-care and then often forget to practice it myself. And so this year I'm again, trying to make it into more of a habit. I have set aside very specific long times to relax every single week and to just unwind. I've even made it on my calendar. So it says absolutely no work allowed. So I can yell at myself if I do fail on that. This one for me is probably going to be the hardest because sometimes it's hard to just not do something when you know that it's waiting to get done. Uh, but it is important to kind of disconnect ourselves from what we're creating and the work that we're doing and kind of just be for a moment. So something that I'm really working on. Something else that I'm working on is adjusting my procrastination tendencies. I know a lot of us are procrastinators and sometimes it seems fine because like, oh, if I just put it off, then I'll get it done and it'll be done. Uh, but there's some things that I just put off and I put off and put off. And then it's just, it becomes a much bigger problem than it would have been in the first place. So something I'm really working on this year is to just do it. Basically, if something is only going to take me a couple of minutes, whether it's putting the dishes away, uh, vacuuming really fast, giving Rory bath, whatever it may be, I'm just going to do it. If it's something I can get done basically in under five minutes, let me do it. So it doesn't become a bigger problem in the long run. Again, this is going to be a lot easier said than done, 
but I'm trying to implement it instead of just like leaving my coat at the door. I'm actually putting it in the coat closet instead of just leaving my dishes in the sink. I'm just taking that couple of minutes to actually wash them after I'm done with them. And already I'm kind of seeing that improvement. Like my space feels cleaner. I feel better and things are actually getting done. So it's clearing off my task list. I don't have all of these tasks that I could have just done already. So working on that one. Um, and I think it's going pretty well. Another really big thing that I have been struggling with is trying to distinguish between when I'm bored and when I'm tired. I am a big, I'm a big bored eater and I'm a big bored napper. I, if I don't have something to do, I am either going to binge eat my favorite snacks, which is popcorn. Popcorn is my absolute favorite thing in the whole wide world. Uh, or I'm going to take a nap. And sometimes when I wake up from that nap or when I'm done eating entirely too much popcorn, I feel a lot worse about myself in more ways than one. Like I'm either really groggy from the nap. I feel like over full from the popcorn. And sometimes it's also like, why did I do that when I could have actually gotten something done? A lot of the times, because I don't recognize, am I bored? Am I tired or am I hungry? So making those distinctions, this is something that I'm actually working with my therapist on right now is being able to recognize like, what is this that I'm feeling right now? Is it what I think that I'm feeling or am I just bored? This one I think is going to be the hardest one for me in the long run because it's been basically something I've been doing my whole life. Like, oh, all right, nothing to do. Let me take a nap. Um, whereas I do have things that I could do. I just might not have the energy for them at that time. And so I'm working on finding more productive and useful ways to use my time that are still restful, but don't feel wasteful. This one also might get a little bit of hate on it. Um, I know a lot of people feel a certain way about energy drinks. I have actually been on this great big mission, if you follow my Twitter or my TikTok, to find an energy drink that works for me. And I think I found it, um, but I'm still testing a few other ones because not all energy drinks work for me. Um, caffeine affects me in different ways, I guess, based on the way that it's presented. And so finding one that doesn't a put me to sleep immediately doesn't make me feel too jumpy and then also doesn't make me crash immediately afterwards has been really difficult and yeah if you drink too many energy drinks that's not good for you but basically i'm trying to use them as a tool when i am feeling that boredom because it can make me feel like groggy and a little bit sleepy even if it is just boredom trying to find something that kind of just perks me back up and gets me into a mode where i can work on something maybe a little bit more relaxing or even maybe get into my next task if it's something that needs to get done um i've been really liking the alani new one that i've been drinking um but again i'm trying some other ones to see what works for me and what just gives me that steady flow of energy without it being too much or too little I mentioned planning back when I was talking about habits, but I'm also setting it aside as its own goal as well, because planning and time blocking is something that I've been doing for a little bit now. I've actually made a video about it already, although I am doing it a little bit differently now, so I might make another one. But basically, it just helps me kind of keep everything in place. I have a lot going on between content, my full-time job, uh, obviously friends and family, as well as doing an online course right now. So. I have to make sure that I have time for everything to make sure that everything's getting done. Sort of like that old phrase um, that says everything has a place, everything in its place, making sure that I have those time blocks set aside and that I'm actually completing that work in that time. One thing that's really beneficial about this too is it shows me when I'm trying to do too much. If I don't have a time block in my calendar open, then I shouldn't be trying to schedule that thing, whether it's adding another stream, whether it's adding more time for school, whether it's saying that I can work late on this day. If I don't have the time for it, I can look at my time blocks and see and make a plan for maybe doing it in the future, but not overwhelming myself in the current time. So all of those are things that I've sort of already started implementing to make myself feel better and kind of get my life together this year. There are still some other things that I want to work on. One of the big ones is eating better. I am the queen of junk food. I absolutely love popcorn and chips and candy and chocolate and ice cream and all of these things. But when I eat too much of them, like I do feel just gross. And this has nothing to do with like weight or the way I look or anything like that. It is all about the way that I feel. And I'm not going to give up popcorn or candy or ice cream because I love them. But I'm just trying to add more good foods into my diet, like more vegetables, more protein. I don't eat enough protein, I found out, which is wild. So I'm trying to do more to get that in place. And then also just actually making my meals instead of ordering Postmates every single night, uh, just to make sure that I know what I'm eating and I know what I'm putting in my body and that it tastes good 
And then when I still want those snack foods that I love, I have the the space for it within me and also don't feel too bad afterwards because I'm still getting the nutrients that I need. Something else that I really want to work on this year, um, and I intended to start this week, but did not happen because of reasons. Um, I want to quote unquote dress up more. I left my full-time in-person job in June of 2021, and I think I have worn what I consider real clothes maybe five times since then. It's been, what's that, eight months now? (laughs) Uh, So I I lounge around in sweatpants and crop tops and t-shirts and leggings, and there's nothing wrong with that. But sometimes just like putting on a really nice outfit that makes you feel good and makes you look good uh, just kind of gives you that little boost of confidence that you need. And so that's just something basically at least once a week I want to put on real clothes, even if I'm just going to be staying inside, just to feel better about myself and kind of remind myself of who I am. Something else in line with that is basically since I graduated college, I was in these office jobs. And while I'm still working for a company now, it's all work from home and I can still have my own style. Whereas before I felt like I was trying to meet corporate standards, now I can see what my standards are and kind of figure out my style, which I haven't really been able to do since college, uh, which has been a long time. So it makes me makes me feel a little bit better about that and I'm really excited for it. One of the other things that I really wanna work on this year is toning it down. And I certainly don't mean my personality in any way. Everybody that knows me knows that I am loud and rude and obnoxious points to those who get it. But my anxiety has gotten really out of control, even with medication, even with therapy. Uh, There are just certain situations that make me feel more anxious than they used to. I do think that the pandemic has played a role in that, but I know that there are ways for me to manage it. I just have to find them. This is going to be a lot easier said than done. And I know I still have a lot of work to do, and it might not be something that I fully accomplish this year, but it is something that I really want to work on. Basically, I just want to be able to do the things that I enjoy without that like nagging feeling like in my heart, in my brain, in my body, just being able to live life and enjoy it as I want to. Something that I heard recently was actually this quote that said, um, don't sweat the small stuff because it's all small stuff. There's a, a book that is named after this and kind of talks about that entire premise. And that's something that I really want to focus on. A lot of things stress me out when they really shouldn't. And for me, it's really going to come down to remembering that there's so few things in our day-to-day lives that really matter. And if we just kind of take a step back, take a deep breath, and go at it one step at a time, I think that's going to help me in managing myself and just making my life even better. I know it might sound really cliche to say that I'm working on getting my life together. I think a lot of people say that all the time. And really, we all are trying to get our lives together all the time. But these are just some things that uh, I've already implemented or maybe things that I want to implement just to kind of be the person that I know I can be. I have goals and I have dreams, and these are my steps to making those things come true. And I'm sure that you have some goals and things that you'd like to accomplish as well. I would love to hear about them if you want to leave a comment. Uh, Thanks so much for watching, by the way. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit that bell so you get notifications when my next video goes live. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.